Um, okay, so in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to use a list view element. Um, this allows the user to pick uh, from a list of data, and then the app can respond based on the user's selection. So I'm actually going to modify um, my success page. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do actually is go back to the the main screen, and you can see that I've removed that thing that I had before that uh, cleared the database. So I don't want that block anymore because I'm now going to use more than just one record in the database. So on the success page, what I'm going to do is make uh, some changes. So I'm going to remove these labels, the item label and the username label. I'm still going to keep the database component and the picture display and also the message that displays success. I'm now going to add one of these list view components on top just above where the image is going to be displayed. So the idea is now that once they've uh, submitted their image data or their image info, um, they're going to be presented with the option to choose from a list and then they choose an item from the list and then the app is able to display the picture representing the item at the bottom. I'm now going to modify the blocks. I'm just going to ignore that for a second. Uh, so now I still want this all to happen when the success page initializes. So I still want the text to be set. But I'm going to remove uh, this stuff and I'm going to start again from the beginning. So what I'm going to have a look at here is getting my list view element. Uh, sorry, list view component, I should be saying. And then this time I'm going to set the elements of the list, so that's the options that are going to appear in the drop down. And I'm going to use the tags from the database. Okay, so remember this get tags block, what that does is it returns a list that represents all the tags currently in the database. So now I'm going to get another event from the list view component, and it's this one, so after picking, this tells the app what to do after the user selects an option. Um, this is going to trigger a picture display and just like what we did before so I'm going to set the background image of the picture display canvas and I'm going to uh, use the tag um, to get a value from the database okay so the tag is going to be represented by whatever was chosen in the list view so for this one I'm going to use uh, list view selection which represents what is currently in the drop down list so that's the tag that was chosen and that's gonna return me my list so remember from the last tutorial the list is split up into uh, three different items the item name uh, the picture URL and the username but like, just like we had before I'm gonna only want one thing from that list and that's gonna be the thing at position 2 which is the URL of the picture so I'm going to use this, select list item, the list is going to be what's returned from the database. And just like we did before, I'm going to get an index, I'm going to set this to 2. Okay, so I'm going to pick the second thing from the list that is returned from the database uh, under the tag that the user selected with the list view element. Okay, so what I'm hoping now is that when we test this, this will work. So I've already added in... Um, some some extra data so we'll just add uh, one more in at the top so we go back to images this one so the item name is going to be monkey and the URL of the picture is oh okay I'm not going to use that one because it's way too complicated to type in instead I'm going to use oh that's a little bit too big so when I'm choosing these images I'm looking at the dimensions that Google is telling me obviously I want quite a small one to fit in the app let's try this one okay that will do so Okay, and um, username, I'm going to be monkeyman55. Okay, so hopefully now when I submit, what should happen is uh, I get my success message. Okay, we've got something working here. Oop, didn't mean to do that. So I've submitted my information and I've just added the monkey. So now 
Uh, I can choose something from the list. And if I press cat, I can see it's quite squashed at the bottom. So the way that this works is the components share the space unless you specify otherwise. And now hopefully when I press dog, yeah, the picture uh, changes to the dog. Let's see if the monkey one that I just added works. Okay, success. Uh, so that's showing you how to use a list view element to select from a list. This then chooses uh, an item of data to be retrieved from the database. Uh, that item of data was the picture and then we're displaying that on screen.